So the question today is, what is technical writing and why does it matter? Well, the first thing you have to understand about technical writing is that it requires technical knowledge to do. You can't be just any Joe Schmo. Can't just be anybody. You have to have some specialized knowledge because that specialized knowledge then has to be communicated to your audience. So perhaps you know a lot about arms and you can write about weapons and how they're made. Maybe you can compare the best swords and make a recommendation. That would have some technical knowledge and expertise. That would make you a good candidate to do some technical writing. Or maybe you just have some hobbies. Maybe you love baseball. And when you love baseball, you can tell me how to compute the different stats, how to tell the ranking in the different leagues. You have some expertise that you can explain how to use, again, to an audience that might need it. Or maybe you're a computer specialist, a security specialist, and you can tell me how to keep my computer safe. Regardless, if you're going to do technical writing, you need to have some technical knowledge some expertise. Now, considering that you have expertise, hmm, let's think. What fields might need to do technical writing? What might need to do some of this work? Well, a nurse. A nurse is going to do lots of different types of technical writing as she writes up her reports. And speaking of reports, there's another job. A scientist. Definitely going to do some technical writing. Engineer. Lots of different types of engineers, too. A contractor. A friend of mine owns his own contracting business. He has to do tons of technical writing, both in his bids and when he gives somebody an estimate for a job, and then in the, the different reports he has to file. Of course, we've already talked about this. We had our lovely, lovely computer specialist before. There she is. And, of course, we have government officials. If you are in something like the DNR, you're going to be doing lots of reports for different for, um, people. So these are the different fields that do technical writing. But the next question you might have is what the heck is it? Hmm. Well, the main thing that you have to understand about technical writing is that it has to go to a specific audience. Well, all right. Okay. If it goes to an audience, it also has to have a specific purpose. Let's take a look at some different types of technical writing. In my job, I do lesson plans. I do letters of recommendation. I do emails. Those are all technical writing. But I want you to look around you. This right here, this right here, this is my son's wart medicine. Disgusting as it is. And if you take a look at the back there, that's all technical writing. Explains how to use it, how to keep it safe. It's giving some very interesting and specialized information to an audience who doesn't necessarily know or understand it, but they can get it. Here's some other parts of technical writing. Your basic glue bottle. It's going to have the same kind of things. My scrapbook. Everything I just kind of grab around my house. You'll notice that this one also has pictures. Highly useful. When I was putting this camera together, to take this video, there's all sorts of technical writing. Here's the instructions that the LMC wrote up for me. Here's the instructions that came with the camera. It has illustrations, bolding, white space, all sorts of different things. And of course, just the tripod. Here's some lovely pictures to show me how to use my tripod. Here's some lovely text. All sorts of different things that show technical writing. Now you may be thinking, huh, whatever. But I can tell you that the number one reason you might want to think about technical writing is right here. Oh, you're thinking, Miss Cody, that's chump change. Really? Oh, look at that. Maybe it isn't chump change. Maybe there's something more to it. Technical writing can earn you quite a bit of money. Um, according to one resource I looked at, you can get $100,000 to $150,000 doing technical writing. Now I have a friend of mine who does writing. I'm not sure she makes quite that much, but this is her work right here. You'll notice that she lives in Japan, and her husband teaches there, but she's able to make money as a writer. Here she is writing for a catalog. That, too, is technical writing. 
there are a few things that you have to keep in mind when you're talking about technical writing. What you most have to understand is that all technical writing has a few things in common. Technical writing will always emphasize clarity. Clarity is making sure you have the details right, that they're understood, that they can't be misinterpreted. Technical writing will always have conciseness. Conciseness is making sure you eliminate unnecessary words, unnecessary details. You get the information across crisply, cleanly. Technical writing will always have accuracy. That includes accuracy of information, but also accuracy in terms of grammar and spelling. You are not allowed to make a mistake in technical writing when it goes out to such wide an audience and represents an organization or a business. Technical writing also needs organization. For the most part, you're going to take a look at organization in terms of how you build your document. Are you going to use compare contrast? Are you going to use definition? Are you going to use chronological? But organization always means, um, in addition, the format of the document. How are you using white space? How are you putting your ideas together? And the last thing for technical writing, ethics. You can't lie. You can't plagiarize. And if you're going to talk about somebody or take a quote of theirs, you must have informed consent. So that is a very general overview of technical writing. There are many different careers that will need it, and there are many reasons to do it, part of which is how lucrative it could be.